All right, so we are out here with the uh, beta version of the Speed Demon. Doesn't really look any different. Uh, the differences are very subtle. Uh, most in, most of them are invisible. The fuselage is a little bit deeper uh, right in this area, and that's so we can sink a 9-gram servo in there. Uh, we had a 3.4-gram servo before, and I put a carbon spar in the wing. Uh, I did redo the wing servo pockets and whatnot. Uh, just so that um, I didn't have to do any cutting on them this time. So um, I took the tape off of the old airplane, peeled it, and put it right on here. So all that went great. So we are going to put this up here and see how it goes. Yeah, it looks good so far. I'm just going to have to walk this time. I'm not putting it over there. Not bad. Not great, but uh, <laughs> other than that, flies good. Alright, so we are out here again, and uh, we have changed to a different motor, because I killed the other one. You can see a, a little bit of a, a burn mark right there, that's actual, you know, like charring, um, because we blew up a speed controller, like, exploded a speed controller. Somehow it had enough left to it to, that I was able to control it on the way down, and yeah. Unfortunately not on video, and it wasn't that exciting, it was just me gliding it in, but... Anyway, so we're on four cells on a 4x4.5, four four which, nothing efficient about this, but I know this motor will, will be fairly content with that, and that that speed controller will not melt down with it. So, here we go. <laughs> Now we have uh, amped it up to an APC, uh, what is that, 5.25 by 6.25. So that is a properly, I mean, properly hot setup. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, should be interesting. On the uh, 4x4.5, we only got up in the uh, mid-70s. So this is on four cells. We will, we will have to see what it does. Takeoff is fairly moderate. We'll do a half throttle pass here. Yeah, it's nice. Not too. Alright, so we are out here, same setup it would look like, same prop, motor, etc. Except for now we are on a Lumineer 1300 milliamp 6 cell battery. Uh, it fits in there comfortably considering. So uh, this motor is not going to be happy on it, the uh, ESC should. But uh, yeah, we got to be, we'll, uh, we'll make a few passes and then see where it goes from there. Alright, you want to point it straight out that way, so a little more to the, there you go, right there, that's good. Not, yeah, that's good. That's good. Alright. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. 85. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't even trying when I got 85. Two. 
Nice. That was on only three quarters throttle. There you go, folks. All right, one out two. All right. That's not bad since that was completely oblique. All right, one more. One seventeen. All right, that's good enough. Yes. There you go, folks. We'll give a hand to him. That's the first yeah! time that we have recorded that he's passed 100. That wasn't so. full throttle either. That was uh, about 90% throttle. I didn't punch it all the way. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if y'all heard that crack as I pulled out of that, because it was coming straight at us, and I waited to the last second to pull out. I hope I didn't damage something inside the plane. So, <laughs> that's why I said we're done, because... I need to inspect the structure, but uh, yeah, that feels great. <laughs> All right, I want a photo of that. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.